talk then. Someone should talk. It's obviously already, already a shambles. Can you believe that? I, I, I'm amazed that we're back on the air and it's already a shambles. What are you doing? What? What are you talking about? I'm talking, the, no one was speaking, the record was ending, the, no one was speaking, it was just Kate. Well, I might shoot off. <laughs> <laughs> already, I might shoot off. It's Bit like we've, nothing's changed. Boys are back in town on XFM 104.9. We're back then, aren't we, Carl? Mm. I'm Ricky Gervais, with me Stephen Merchant and Carl Pilkington. I'm not coming back, I'm definitely not coming back. Oh, oh. Oh, care, care someone, care that I'm not coming back. Rick, I seem to remember the end of, yeah, the end of the last time we were on, what yeah. was that, three months ago? Yeah, three months Carl ago. Carl said he's never gonna do the show again, there yeah. was nothing that was gonna bring him back, yeah. he didn't enjoy it, wasn't gonna do it. All the ruse, right? Really? Yes, um, I've, I've known him been coming back for so about two months, you know, cause he's got our agent now, representing him. <laughs> I, I thought I he was a fool, really. really. Why? Well, what, what's yeah. he done for me? What's well, he done for us? No, I know, but I mean, he's, he's your agent, so, uh, and he's sort of calling Graham. And it was all a con, so Carl could get Mondays off. Poor Graham, the station's struggling enough as it is. Yeah. It's like running around like a headless chicken. Yeah. No one's listening, no one's listening. That's why I don't bother talking with a record then, because there's no, it's, there's no loss sure. to London. <laughs> sure. Right? It's, it's, it's pointless, this show. We don't do it for the money, we don't do it for the kudos. I don't know why we do it. No. Is there anything on telly at this time? I could have had a lie in. I know. But, um, it's all a ruse to get Monday's off. He's got Monday's off now, cause he has to do the show, two hours, two right, hours. and he's still getting paid. And it's all a con because he knows that he's holding him over a barrel and he's, it's like, oh, we've got to keep Carl happy. Mm. Right? I, I had, I had Mondays and Tuesdays off before Duncan got involved. <laughs> 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 no, you know what I mean though? And it's like, poor Graham, who's the MD, the, uh, in charge of the thing, probably pulling his hair out, worrying about the station, right? You know, it's a sinking ship. And then Carl comes and well, I, I, you know, I'll do it, but I want Mandos off. They, uh, he's probably sitting home now, his family, he's probably ridiculed by yeah. his well, wife. Well, his kids almost certainly would have lost all respect for him. That his, he's been his fooled mates, by Carl Pilkington. He calls his mates and go, oh, I'm, I'm busy, Graham, I don't, yeah. you know, I just can't think. Uh, it's just- It's, it's embarrassing. Just, but it's, do you know what I mean? And you think it's funny and you think you've got one over him, he's going, oh, I'm on this off for two now. hours. Yeah, you do, yeah, you do, you think it was, uh, and now you're now embarrassed, we've said it on air. But uh -huh. you're only, you're only, you're only conning yourself in the long run, because do you know what I mean? It, it, it's, I hate that sort of, the world owes me a living, how much can I get, what can I get out of the world? What are you gonna give back to the world, Carl? What are you doing now then? Are you gonna prepare Monday? No, what have you prepared for this show now? You've had three months to prepare. Yeah. What have you, what have you got? What have you got for us? Okay, what's happened in the last three months? Uh, what? In this place or just my life? Well, what have you got for us? We three months, we're turning about, you get Mondays off, you're getting paid for it, you've got a cushy deal, you're having a laugh, you're taking the piss out of the management, right? So, what have you got for us? Give it to us. We've, we, I've kind of, uh, updated Rockbusters a bit. <laughs> right? Brilliant. Yeah. Right? So, and, uh, you said don't mess with it, if something's good, don't mess with it. What do you mean it wasn't good? <laughs> it was never good. It was never good, no, of course we had good. to fix it. It was fun to do, it was a laugh. I mean, much more, I imagine it was much more fun for me than the 450 <laughs> listeners. <laughs> I like, you know what I mean? I enjoyed it. I enjoyed squeezing your head and dressing you up. No, but that's just it. When I had a meeting with, with Graham, right, I said, look, I'm not being funny. I don't want to do it anymore. Yeah. I've had enough of it. Yeah. And he was like, oh, what's up with you? You, you sounds like you have a right good laugh. I said, yeah, but that's, that's, you know, that's all good acting and stuff. I said, it's hell in there. <laughs> Um, I said, like I, he's talking about Vietnam. Yeah. I said, <laughs> having, having my head squoze, right? <laughs> what? Squoze? Squoze is still not a word. We've been away three months, it's still not a word. Right? Yeah. I said he's putting a dustbin lid on my head. Yeah. <laughs> you told this to the end, he's, he's hitting me with a tray. Yeah. Uh, he's chucking toilet paper at me. Yeah. And he said, yeah, but that's all over two years. I said, no, that was the same day. <laughs> <laughs> So. Okay then, what has changed in three months? Exc they're listening, they've been listening for six minutes now, come on, give us something. Bit of Nickelback. What's, <laughs> no, what's happened in three you days? Play a record well, what, what, three thing. months? What, in my life or yeah. in here? Nothing's yeah. happened here, nothing's changed here. Right. But, I don't know, what, well, uh, do you know, do you know last time we were on? Yeah. Right? And, uh, I was telling you about the woman over the road, where what? I live. The one that walked around naked? There's a woman who walks about the flat oh, naked, this right? is when, uh, Carl was watching a woman naked, then she looked at, uh, saw him looking, so what he did, this is the genius he did to get out of this, he pulled his pants down so he was naked too. <laughs> his girlfriend comes in and goes, Carl, what are you doing? He went, I can't tell you now, but don't look out of the window. <laughs> yeah, go on, sorry. That woman, she's, uh, she's bought some blinds. <laughs> 
Nickelback, Sunday on XFM 104.9. How old's the bloke from Nickelback? He I looks about 40. He reminds me of, um, uh, you know when a kid's made up a fate to look like a lion? <laughs> yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's like, like, the Wizard of Oz lion. Yeah. But, you know, good tune. Not uh, good. I'll be controversial. I think rock rules the world again, Steve. Well, I hope so, mate. I hope so. Do you know so. what I mean? Are we gonna hear some rock later in the show? We're gonna hear lots of rock. Excellent. It's like, I might even play a little bit of Rainbow. Blimey. Just to, you know, rewind. we've got the darkness, but sure. I wanna remind them where it all came from. Yeah. You've heard the Liz. Yeah, yeah. You're gonna hear the bow. Cheers, mate. Thanks for that. Um, no, just high five. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, Carl. Yeah, keep it real. Here we are then. Oh, Back. incidentally, before we uh, carry on. on, I just thought, um, it's weird, I was reading some of the fan emails and stuff we got, and one of the things a lot of people like, it actually it divides the listeners, is your laugh. It's interesting. Some people love it, they find it infectious, they yeah. find it adorable. I mean, close up in a small space, like a kitchen Terrifying. or something, it's annoying. Like, Horrific. Carl was annoyed, because I squeaked in his ear earlier, didn't I? Sure. Why did I laugh? He was on the toilet. <laughs> I think I squeezed his head again, didn't I? And he said, no, it's not one o'clock He doesn't yet. like the squeezing. The squeezing head. But, yeah. Um, but it's the just, squeezing one. The funny thing is, right, we were out a few weeks ago with, with a mate of mine, mm. right, and uh, he went to sque squeeze me head, mm -hmm. right, give, give it a squeeze. Sure. And uh, I was like, don't do that, you know, you know I don't like it, right? And Ricky said to me, mate, yeah, he doesn't like having his head squeeze. As if it's like Marmite. As if, <laughs> as if some people love it. Yeah, yeah. And some people hate it. Sure. <laughs> yeah. 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 Okay. Well, anyway, yeah. there's but there's a, there was a little taster of the laugh. That was more <laughs> the kind of deep throaty laugh, the yeah. belly laugh. But there's that kind of high peach squeak that you do. Well, I got to get air out quickly because exactly. I'm going to burst. Sometimes I laugh so much that my liver and all like, they try and get out of it. So I have to get out really fast, like a like a siren. Right. Do you know what I mean? Is that uh, is that how you explain <laughs> the fact that you're you're quite fat? Yeah. <laughs> that's actually laugh. that's just laughing <laughs> waiting to come out. Yeah. Every time you laugh, you, you become a svelte young thing <laughs> like Brett yeah. Anderson. Oh dear. Well, anyway. It reminded me of the uh, the game that you you and I used to play in our very early days of XFM when it was literally make Ricky Gervais laugh. Make Ricky Gervais laugh, which Lovely. was a great game. I think I remember the first one. It was that fella drinking a pint of beer. Yeah, I remember yeah. the very first time. Yeah. Never, I tell you what, it's you not know what, great. Though, Ant and Deck do it now. They do. They, they actually, it's very similar to make Ricky laugh. It's called make Ant laugh. <laughs> Interesting. So so many of our great ideas have been uh, have been stolen. Yeah, or stoled. Stoled. Yeah. And anyway, I just I was looking through the paper in the week and there was Go a picture on. which um. <laughs> Which I think might it might be a Ricky Gervais <laughs> make Ricky Gervais laugh. I don't know. Again, Go obviously on. it doesn't really work for the listeners at home, but I'll try yeah. and do my best to describe it. Can it's we stop saying my name because it's like a Dave Gorman project? Can we just stop? Let's. I, it's getting. It, let's say a word often enough. It doesn't mean anything. Yeah. Let's stop saying Ricky Gervais. Well, what we're going to refer to you as? <laughs> All right. Well, make Fatty laugh. <laughs> is um. <laughs> is a new. <laughs> A new game. I'm trying to get one of those squeaks of a laugh. I'm okay. concerned because well, I know. I, I, no, I'm not going to. I'm not a monkey. I'm not <laughs> sure, a performing, you're not a performing monkey. No. Okay. I know that. Right. But anyway, let me um. just briefly summarise the story <laughs> okay. for those at home. Okay. The uh, the headline was Mum 48, <laughs> a mother of 48 seduced boy of 14. <laughs> well, that's not funny. Not her own boy, obviously, but uh, a, no, a, child, a neighbourhood child. Um, I don't think it's a funny it said, story so far. He said, "Grand Lana Allen, 48, led him upstairs and undressed to her waist." Then took his trousers off. <laughs> okay, bear that in mind. This, this is a is quote. This is a quote from him. Right. right. Bear in mind, he's a fourteen-year-old boy. He's quite excited about this. He yeah. says, "Then we had sex. It was every boy's fantasy." <laughs> All right. You're going to show me the picture of her now. I know. So it's a picture of her. Oh, this is not. Bear right. in mind. This is. Okay. In his own words, Rick. Right. In his own <laughs> words, this was every boy's <laughs> fantasy. Okay. Okay. Here's the picture. It's a silent laugh. He's collapsed on the floor. I wasn't floor. expecting that! <laughs> I wasn't expecting- I was thinking it looked like a fat man! I was not expecting that! Oh my god! Oh god! She looks like <laughs> the drummer of Iron Maiden! That's <laughs> she looks a bit like Lemmy! <laughs> but, I tell you she looks like- she <laughs> make, reminds me of most. Did you see I those- I they've got one with a fag on as well! I know, I know! <laughs> Just the- that's, the, that's it with them out of makeup though. Carl, have you seen yeah. every boy's fantasy? You should see- you should see- <laughs> Oh god! Oh. Look, oh. Oh. oh god. How old is she? <laughs> 48. Oh. Oh god. Oh, 48. <laughs> That's lovely. Nothing wrong, no, nothing wrong with that. I'll tell you, if you don't know what- if you didn't see- you weren't lucky enough <sighs> to see the picture, she looks <sighs> just like the, um, oldest man in the world. His photo was on, uh, in newspapers and on the oh. web for a while. He was about 135 yes, or something.